Mark and Christina are here again, CHA 2017. I love you guys because your videos are awesome. Okay, so I wanted to show you uh, a new product for me and my product line, and that's enamel accents. So enamel accents have been out for a long time. Um, and everybody knows that you can make dimensional dots with those, and you'll see that there. But I always get great, <laughs> great fun from trying to uh, new techniques. And so what else can I do with these besides dots? So some things I wanted to show you. These are Tim's hex head brads. If you look at those, I just have one dot of enamel accents on there. Totally changes it, and it makes it coordinate perfectly with your project. Um, this is the wood letter press. Those have been painted with the enamel accents, so know that you can paint them on wood. Um, I wanted to alter Tim's little resin roses. Those are white when you get them right from the package. And just a little bit of enamel accents on the paintbrush, and you can change those to any color that you want to. And again, perfectly coordinated with your project. Um, this is interesting too. This is actually stamping with enamel accents. And what you get is a shiny raised uh, image. So kind of for the mixed media, I did it a little bit irregular. For people who want things perfect, you can do it and have perfect little stamped images. Um, we started out with eight colors that match the new mini archival. So these are the new eight colors. Okay, You can use them right from the bottle like that. Um, I also like them a lot with Dina's paint tip on the end. Okay, <clears throat> So what you do then I want to make a dot on something. Just want to hold it straight up, lift it up, and let that little dot fall down. And that will dry probably in about 20 minutes. And that's going to dry raised and dimensional like that. If I want smaller dots, I have several different options for that. I can use Tim's remnant rub tool, so another way to use this, dip it into the enamel accents, and I can add my dots. And I'm going to get perfectly sized dots every time. So it's a little bit less intimidating when you first start to do it that way. If I want smaller dots, everybody's got these little tools. Kind of a stylus thing. and has two balls, kind of two different size balls on the end. So if I want smaller dots, I can just go ahead and dip it in the enamel accents and I'll have smaller dots. So I think that's really a cool, cool, cool way to use it when I like when you have lots of ways to use the product. Okay, here's another thing you can do with enamel accents to make custom embellishments that are gonna perfectly match your art. Um, take a little bit of enamel accents, kind of spread it out on a scrap paper, it's just gonna be fine. This is on a tag. Take a punch, punch through it, and you end up with a perfectly coordinated little embellishment. Cool? Okay, so here's another tip to make your life easier. Ranger has these awesome um, tape strips, which are awesome for adhering paper. But another really good use, um, if you stick this on your craft sheet, remove the backing sheet. I can paint that little resin rose now, and I don't have to hold on to it with wet paint. It's nice and secure on there. So a little drop of enamel accents, my paintbrush. Go ahead and paint that. And now I have an embellishment that's perfectly coordinated for my art. Once that dries, which is probably a minute, I can take it off, turn it over, and then paint the back. So in case anybody sees the underneath side, it's going to be you know, completely covered with paint. So an another way to use enamel accents to on that little embellishment. And super simple, and the tape holds it down. So instead of having paint all over your fingers, it works really well. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube to be the first to see all our videos from Creativation.